Hey everyone, this is Dan Finning back again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my Tony Hawk game collection. I'm sure some of you may have known, or maybe not, but I am a huge fan of Tony Hawk games. I've been playing them ever since I was little, and I have quite a few games to show you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first, I'm going to start with the Nintendo 64 games. I only have two, and those are Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Now this I've owned ever since I was little. So, as you can see, it's got a lot of wear and tear. And then this one I actually got a couple of years ago on eBay. And I got this simultaneously with a um, N64 uh, memory card. Because I did not have one at the time. So I finally got one. And at the same time, I figured I might as well pick up this one. So those are the N64 games. Now I'm going to move on to... Uh, Dreamcast because you know I originally had these and then I thought you know what I'm gonna look at other um, additions of these two games on a different console and one of the other consoles I own is a Dreamcast and I saw that those versions looked a bit superior so I figured you know what I'm gonna pick them up so of course for the Dreamcast I have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and I have to admit this is much superior than the N64 version for better controls, better graphics, so I am glad to have this. So there's that. And then I figured, why not? I'll get the second one as well. So I am happy to have both of these. And uh, the Dreamcast Edition will be the preferred playing format I will have going forward when, when it comes to if, when I want to play these two games. So there's that. And now I'm going to move on to the GameCube. So the GameCube, I have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Now if you notice, the cover art is not um, official. This is because um, I got this game at GameStop, and it came with just the, the disc only. It did not come with a case at all. So I figured I would print out um, the cover art for the case and put it in a regular DVD case. So... That is why the art is not, you know, really accurate. But there's that. And then, of course, I have Pro Skater 4. So, yeah, pretty much all these games I've owned since I was little. With the exception of the Dreamcast games and then the um, first Pro Skater on N64. And then this one, Tony Hawk's Underground, I actually did not own when I was little. So, this one I got off eBay a couple years ago. And then next up, of course, Underground 2. This is probably my favorite. There's so much replay value, in my opinion, of this game, so I play this a lot. I do the story mode over and over and over, because it's just so fun, so glad I have this. And then for the, for the last of the game cubes, I have American Wasteland. This one I actually got a week or two ago. Still got all the ads and stuff in here. So that's it for the GameCube, now I'm going to move on to the portable consoles. So, start with Game Boy. So for Game Boy, I have Game Boy Advance, that is. I have Pro Skater 3, and Underground. So, that's Game Boy, and then lastly we have Nintendo DS. Here's American Skate Land, and from what I heard, this is a um, portable edition of this game. So, and the last Tony Hawk game I have, and the last one I have for DS, Downhill Jam.
So yeah, I figured that this would be a fun video to make since I haven't really posted a lot in a while. But I will have a new um, 4K Blu-ray DVD update um, hopefully this week. If not this week, then uh, next week. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.